Today is Friday, May 12th, and this is Tommy Media's News in 90. I'm Brenda Cabral. A man who kept a chokehold around the neck of a passenger in the New York City subway leading to the other rider's death turned himself into authorities Friday on a manslaughter charge that could send him to prison for 15 years. Manhattan prosecutors announced Thursday they would bring the criminal charge against Daniel Penny, 24, a U.S. Marine Corps veteran, in the death of Jordan Neely, 30. The U.S. is putting new restrictions into place at its southern border to try to stop migrants from crossing illegally and encourage them instead to apply for asylum online through a new process. The changes come with the end of coronavirus restrictions on asylum that have allowed the U.S. to quickly turn back migrants at the U.S.-Mexico border for the past three years. Those restrictions are known as Title 42. The University of St. Thomas community awoke Thursday to a video released online by O'Keefe Media Group, whose founder is the former leader of the right-wing group project Veritas that shows a conversation with a residence life administrator about campus housing policies for transgender students. In a statement to Tommy Media, the university said the video, quote, appears to be heavily edited to fit a specific agenda, end quote. Check Tommy Media for the full story. For TommyMedia.com, I'm Brenda Cabral.